In this video, we're going to talk about mirrors. And specifically, we're going to talk about the images created by mirrors. That is, what do you see when you look into a mirror and why do you see that? So here we have a setup where we have you looking into a mirror. And we're specifically going to think about a couple different points on you and how those points are reflected in the mirror. So we're going to imagine that you're wearing some bright red shoes or at least one bright red shoe and a big blue belt buckle. So we're going to think about these two points and how the light from your blue belt buckle and your red shoes are reflected by the mirror and where they look like they are to you in the mirror. Now to do this, we need to remember that when light reflects off of some type of boundary, it always reflects <clears throat> at exactly its incidence angle. So for example, let's talk about the shoes. So light from the tip of your red shoe would come. So if you want to see it, it's going to follow this path. It's going to bounce off the mirror at the same angle that it entered at. And just for reference, I'll draw the normal here. So these two angles that I've drawn are going to be the same. That's what I mean by it reflects at the same angle of incidence. So this is our incident light. It is coming from your red shoes, bouncing off the mirror and entering your eye. Now, your red shoes, everyone can see them in every direction, which means that light is being transmitted from your red shoes in every direction. So there's also light, say, for example, that comes off of your red shoe and bounces off the mirror and comes back over here, right? You just can't see that light because it's not hitting your eyes. You only see light that hits your eyes. So though light is coming off of your red shoes and bouncing, you know, kind of off of every part of the mirror, you're only going to see stuff that hits your eyes. And so we're going to ignore light from the red shoes that hits the mirror at other locations. All right, so. Now, let's think about what your eye actually sees. Well, one thing to know about how humans work is that we always assume that light traveled in a straight line, which means that when you see light entering your eye from this angle, you assume that that light actually came from a straight line this way, which means that your eye believes that there is a red shoe over here. Because that is the straight line that your, that your eye believes the light took, right? So this here is called a virtual image. Virtual means that it, no light is actually over here, right? There is no actual red shoe on the right side of the mirror. Um, but your eye believes that the red shoe is there because that is the straight line path that your eye sees, right? Let's try the same thing with the belt buckle. Okay. Well, if I want light to leave from your blue belt buckle, and hit your eye, then it needs to follow a path that looks something like this. Again, the reflected angle is the same as the incidence angle. And now your eye sees blue light coming in from this angle. And it believes that light came along a straight line, which means that your eye believes that the belt buckle is over here on the other side of the mirror. Again, this is a virtual image of your belt buckle. Okay. Uh, and finally, let's think about light that leaves from your eye and then comes back, right? So light that bounces off your eyes, hits the mirror and then comes back to you. Well, if you want to see that light, it had to come from your eye, hit the mirror, and then comes straight back, right? So this light goes to the mirror, hits the mirror, and then comes back, and then is absorbed by your eyes. Now, you believe that the light followed a straight line path, and so you think that you, your eyes are over here. And just to keep the, the diagram from getting too incredibly complicated, 
I will simply say this works for every single point on your body and for every single point around the room, right? So you're standing in your bathroom, right? So there's a sink, etc. Light from the sink does exactly the same thing. Bounces off the mirror and reaches your eye and your eye sees a virtual image of the room around you here as well. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill in the rest of you here. There's you going to your shoes, there. So what you end up seeing is a virtual image of yourself on the other side of the mirror. Now, mentally we know we're not actually on the other side of the mirror, but just from what our eyes are seeing, it looks like there is another person inside of the mirror looking back at us, right? And this is because our eyes are interpreting that the light followed a straight line path when it reaches our eyes, which means we think that the, our red shoes are down here and our belt buckle is over there. 